All right, so according to our map, uh, to get to, back to Riverwood, I'm assuming you don't run into any giant rocks, is to circle around this mountain that Bleak Falls Barrow went into, uh, more or less. So we're gonna head this way and a wolf, of course, a couple of wolves. Fandall seems to have caught up with me. That's good. Um, I was worried I'd left him up on the cliff, heading down from Bleak Falls Barrow. And there is Bleak Falls Barrow right up there. There's some kind of house over here. Interesting. I wonder if anyone lives at this house. If they do not, then this would be a good place to gather up supplies. Seems as if there's plants growing here, though, so... Someone, oh yes, here we go. Someone does live here. Hello. Who are you? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. All right, well, I'll leave you to it then. No reason to further explore this place. I, I, don't, I doubt there's anything suspicious about it at all, except there's apparently a flame atronach down here. Uh, my flame atronach won't be able to hurt it, but... She can at least take some hits for me. I think Fandal's gonna die. Jeez, okay. Um, let's get healing out before that thing kills me. Actually, my Flame Antrock can hit it with regular melee attacks. That's good. Restoration has increased to a respectable 20. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, get back, get back, get back. I mean, you'll be fine. My, my Atronach's fine, but that would have hurt me badly. And this is an actual, not a summoned one, which gives me fire salts. Fandal, where'd you go? I don't know where he is, and quite honestly, I don't care. Um, I have amazing follower tweaks. I can recruit other followers, even if he never shows up. Oh, he ran away because of the fire. What can I get for you? You're a better companion. You can get me a better companion, Fandal. All right, we're not that far away now. Uh, welcome back, guys, to Skyrim Special Edition. I never actually uh, said that, did I? Hey, bunny. Hey, bunny. How did I miss you? Dang it, I wanted some succulent rabbit legs. Actually, I think I have some raw rabbit legs still in my inventory from um, back when we were escaping from Helgen. I could cross the river here, but it makes more logical sense to keep going upriver um, until uh, we reach the bridge and then go into town that way. Um, I uninstalled the only water mod I had installed. Can't tell if it, if it makes the water look better or not. I'm gonna... I might have to reinstall it. I might have to install a completely different water mod to get the water looking right. Which is annoying, but whatever. Uh, though, I would have just updated the mod like look to see if there were any updates and then updated the mod but um I always forget these guys are way tankier than they look like they would be um what was I saying oh the the mod can't have any updates because it's no longer on the nexus now the water looks pretty much exactly the way it did before that's just weird alright I'll deal with that later it's not that big a deal Let's head into town. We do have places we actually let's heal up as we're walking. Since you should always... Did you just teleport to me? That's weird. Um, if you have damage... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm what what is it this time? Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. 
I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Interesting. That's from a mod. Um, the lost, the lost city or the forgotten city. There it is. Um, as I was saying, you should always heal up if ever you have damage if you're trying to train restoration. Um, that's a mod. It's an adventure mod. And I'm certainly looking forward to playing. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. We're not going to do it right now. But um, Johan is an adventurer first and foremost, so we will get to that at some point. I also looked into what was causing the weirdness with the grindstones, but I could not figure out what it was. It might be SMIM, uh, Static Mesh Improvement Mod. If it's SMIM, Can I help you? Uh, it's going to be annoying because SMIM has a lot of components to it. I mean, it's not like I actually mind it that much. It doesn't bother me that much, but still. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. All right, I actually have your golden claw. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller. It's the weirdest line know. in the game. I really have no idea what he's trying to I'm imply with this that. Back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. It was mostly for your sister. Let's not kid ourselves here. Um, four gold septums, which are very valuable. I'm actually going to see... And he left. What time is it? Oh, that's why he's heading to the inn. Alright, I was going to see if I could sell those, but... Um, I can't. The, ex the uh, money exchange mod... Is actually a different mod than the one that has the different kinds of coins. I'd completely forgotten about that. It's one that lets you exchange coins for notes. Um, it's just a way of organizing your money differently than you than just like carrying it around all the time. It's basically what I intended to use it for. I don't know if it has other functions besides that, honestly. Um, I don't know that I'll ever get around to using that, to, though, to be honest. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the inn for now. Which we could go to the inn, see that Delphine's not there. Um, get all suspicious and then see her back at Dragon's Reach and understand suddenly what's going on, you know. Um, but Johan is the kind of guy who would just press forward through the night and head back to Whiterun and sleep there, sleep a couple hours there if he has any time to do so once he arrives. So. And it's not a super long distance. You know, Johan really should go at some point and see if they have tours of the metery. Oop, almost fell off the road there. Oh, hey, is that, um... Um... Wanna hear a yeah. Lord Wisdom? You don't really know a woman until you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Seems like good advice. When I'm not exhausted and hungry and thirsty, I will take you up on that at some point. She's traveling late. I like that she travels, though. I still don't know which mod does that, if it's Immersive Citizens or the cut Content mod, which is called um, Cutting Room Floor, I believe. But um, I do like that she does that. She seems like the kind who would do that, you know? And here we are, back at White Run. Uh, White Run Stables, at least. It's such an iconic city in video gaming. Oh, the Khajiits moved on. Darn. I was going to have some money soon. I was planning to buy some things from them with the money that I was going to have soon. Um, as I was saying, though, this is such an iconic city in gaming, though. Because Skyrim was a big deal game on its launch. Um... Everybody wanted it. Everybody was playing it. Like, not literally, obviously, but a lot of people wanted it. A lot of people were playing it. Let's Plays of it were going up same day. Some people were... Um, that was weird. I, I got stuck there for a second. Um, what was I saying? 
Uh, some people were playing through the entire story, the entire entire main story in the first day. Um, and White Run is the first big city that you come across if you're playing the I've game in a linear manner. Inputs are lagging a little bit, which is weird. Hello, hello, people. Hi, Carlotta. Good to see you. Oh, thanks. It's good to see you too. I work with my mother. Yes, I know, Mila. Not, not in the mood to talk right now. All right, we're gonna go to the inn and um, let me know if you need anything. Stay the night here. By the fire, and I'll send someone over. I'm, I'm okay. I'll just um. If it's I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Yeah, you've told me this before, actually. I just need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Excellent. Um, I'll show you to your room, right this way. I don't need you to show me. I was here yesterday, remember? Right, I'm gonna sleep here. It'll be fine to wait until tomorrow morning. Um, to get this stuff back to the Jarl. And, uh, Farangar. Can't hurt, right? So obviously it's not like the main quest can start without me. What else do I have other than just bread and cheese? Uh, I need to go cook stuff. More bread it is then. Alright. <laughs> Still thirsty? Alright, drink some water too. <sighs> That's better. Now off to bed. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Were you sitting, were you standing Zadia, here the entire time? Here. Yes, Mom. Oh my god. Since I sat down, she's going to make Sadia come up here. Nope. Nope, go away. Um, let's do seven hours. That was a long, long journey, so let's, let's sleep a little longer than Johan might usually in this kind of situation. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Thirsty and hungry. You want a drink? Um, you can refill this water for of me. Of course. Thank you. Now, please, no more questions. You know, you're in the service industry, sweetie. Get out of the way. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. I'm n I'm not a huge fan of Sadia, honestly. Um, they they there's the quest around her. I'm sure you guys will know what I'm talking about. If um, you've played the game, but there is a quest centered around her, and they make it seem like I'm gonna cook some stuff while I'm here. They make it seem like there's no real right answer to the quest, but if you know anything of the lore, it's pretty obvious that she's actually the one in the wrong. Do I have anything? Do I have enough to make vegetable soup? Vegetable soup is great. Oh, Sadia. Just make as many of those as I can. Um. Of course, Mom. Can I do anything else with the rabbit, other than just a rabbit haunch? No. Make potato soup. That actually sounds delicious. Uh, I don't want to make a ton of that though, because I want the salt for this other stuff. How many salmon steaks do I have? I have a ton of salmon. Jeez. Um. That's. They're basically the same thing, so I'll just make the salmon. Alright, that's fine for now. Now I have more food other than just the crap that I've been e eating, so. My, my goal was to not have to buy food, because Johan would be the kind of guy who knows how to handle that, you know? Not buy, having to buy food. Uh, taking care of himself, living off the land, that kind of thing. Hey kid, how's it going? Alright, um... Yeah, there's the meat vendor down there too. Oh, yeah, I should check in with him at some point. I'm gonna stay, uh, stop by the Temple of Kinnereth too while I'm here. Uh, I mentioned previously that Johan is... Um, not only is he into interest in restoration, which is something they do here, but he does worship Kinnereth. Excellent. Thank you. 
All right. That's it. That's all I wanted to come in here for. Now, if we were playing the regular version of Skyrim, that's actually where we would find uh, one of my favorite modded companions. His name's Oddbar the Afflicted. But he hasn't been brought over to Special Edition. I might eventually um, do my own conversion of that mod for a Special Edition. There are guides as to how to do that. So I might, I might try my hand at that. If I do, though... Um, I don't know that I'll use it in this Let's Play, which is a shame, because I really like that character. Um, unless I can get permission from the original mod author to do it, to actually up-convert the mod. We'll, we'll see what happens. Ah, what a glorious day. Get to do this task for the Jarl, and then go about our business forever, and never have to deal with this dragon stuff again. Let, let the experts handle it. You oh, hey, look. The terminology it's the innkeeper from Riverwood. Even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Yeah, yeah I'm here, Fargar. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems are you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. So condescending. Um, I got the Dragon Stone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. That is exactly what I was hoping you'd mind, say. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. You mean your associate Delphine from Riverwood? means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls me. Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thanks. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Oh, wow. You should come too. What? Who, me? Dragon. How exciting. Are you kidding? Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take um, this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon what? to attack White Run. No, I'm not going... Uh, freaking... Let's go. I can't piss off the Jarl, though. That would be a bad idea. Dang it. I need to go... I need to head north. I'm supposed to be heading north. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Stand over here next to the Jarl like I'm important. from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just I'm right behind you. Yes, I know you're right behind me, Fandal. I'm about to feed you to the freaking dragon. Good work, son. After I take all the stuff you have off of you. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. See, Bulger's such a good guy. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster in the main See, she's so badass. I love it. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Okay. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. That's a you really funny joke, Valgriff. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Oh crap, he's serious. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for far and gone. You mean that thing I, I... Stop doing that. As a token of my esteem. Oh dear lord. I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Neat. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Okay. I should come along. Excellent. I Iron like gauntlets of major stand. smithing. And I'm over encumbered. I can't afford because of course I am. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know All what we're doing. standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the Stormcloaks. Krongar. You're almost as annoying as Fandle. Just go away. Alright, let's hobble slowly downstairs. I'm going to check in with Farangar first. Update our spells a little bit. See if I can sell some stuff off. I probably can't sell him much, though. Maybe the enchanted stuff that I picked up. Like those smithing gauntlets that I just got. They were gauntlets, weren't they? I didn't re misread that, did I? Um... Though, I kind of want to disenchant those and make some smithing armor. Um, I mean, that's a little cheesy, but... 
I, I kind of want to do it anyway. Let's, let's see what we can get for it. We can find more um, smithing effect stuff later. I on. envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. You can go in my place if you want. So you wish to master the arcane? Arc. Yes, we had this conversation last time. All right, let's see. Apparel. He'll take those. And the ring. You can actually, you can have the ring. Just take it. I don't freaking care. I still like the green cloak, but I'll sell you these other ones. Um, you can have the scrolls too. Whatever. Don't want to sell you those. So he won't take the enchanted stuff. I have a decent amount of money though. I should be able to buy a couple of interesting spells. Let's see. What would work on a dragon? Mm. Ghost warrior, ghost mage might be able to do something against it. Skeleton, skeleton warrior. Uh, that would be fun, but that's not something I need to worry about buying right now. Uh, fast healing would probably be useful. Let's keep that in mind. Fire rune I definitely want to get, but I can come back and buy that later. It's not going to be helpful against the dragon. Flame shell would be, though. I'm going to take flame shell. Um, fire damage on all affected targets. Okay, so that's interesting. It's a little bit weaker than fire bolt, but it does damage to multiple targets. Why do they sell flames? Doesn't every character in the game start with flames? Weakness to fire is another one I'd really like to get my hands on at some point, but again, not one that I feel like would matter today. So let's... Let's grab... Firebolt. And... Maybe down here, fast healing. And call that a day in terms of spells. We still have almost 800 you know, got the coin, too, which is pretty nice. Eight. Yeah, yeah, I should join the Mage College, blah, blah, blah. Let's, um, get these learned and favorite a few of them. Uh, Destruction, Firebolt. Um, actually, that's not what I meant to do. Freaking, I need to get, um, used to this. Where's, where would, um, uh, Flame Shell be? Here, okay. That's going to be very, very useful. Um, and let's favorite fast healing. Do I have healing favorited? Yeah, I have healing favorited too. Let's keep them both favorited because healing is a little bit better to use when you're not in combat. At least I've always thought it was. All right. I'm not over encumbered now. Part of me still wants to, though. Brigands, I can handle. Um, this talk of dragons, we're gone mad, I say. Yeah, I, I agree with you completely, buddy. Um, I kind of want to stop by Bellathors and um, sell a couple things, get my carrying capacity down. Crap, I don't know. In character. It wouldn't make sense to do that because we're, I'm in a hurry. Oh well. You're a hireling, right? Blade and shadow. You have chosen wisely. Lead on, and I shall follow. That was probably impulsive, but um, I I want I want to have as many people with me as I can take with me. Is she actually following? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's head out and take care of this dragon problem. Um, was my stomach just growling? Probably was. I'll check in a second. I'm still here. Yeah, thanks. Great to know. Um, really quick. Magic active effects. Yeah, I'm mildly hungry. Health regeneration and damage outputs reduced. Damage output, man. All right, let's eat. Carrot, I guess. <clears throat> now I'm thirsty. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> Whatever. Forget it. Just, I don't care right now. <sighs> I need to get to the Western Watchtower. 
I mean, I th no, there's no... I know that the mission's not time-sensitive, right? Like, I could go play every single side quest in the game right now, and then come back, and that dragon would still be circling the air around the freaking Western Watchtower, and he never would have done anything other than that. Alduin never would have resurrected any more dragons. The main quest would have just completely halted. I can make that choice, and I know that. But it makes no logical sense why that would be the case. So, I tend to play the game as if it's not the case. As if it is time sensitive, as if I do need to get there as soon as possible. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm over encumbered because of some flowers. Fandal, come here. What can I get for you? I need you to hold some things. I'm at your service. You walking very unattractive yeah, suitcase. Hold the iron gauntlets of major smithing. No, I don't want to put them on. Ugh. Actually, they're they're pretty good. I, I still need to decide what I'm going to do with those. Is why I'm looking at them. Um, that's really good too. I need to disenchant that. All right, that's got my carrying capacity down a little bit. You need, um, I'll follow. Let's continue onward. I like how there's just random human bones along the side of the road here. And, like, really nowhere else in the game. That's just so delightfully weird. I love it. Alright, so there's Irileth and her guards. Let's meet up with them so we can all rally. No signs of any dragon right now. No signs of the dragon, except for all the fire. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is... Yeah, let's get out. Uh, the Atronach first, and get her going. This and we can cast Flame Shell once she's pinned Spurs. down the dragon a little bit. We need to know what Alright. Look for survivors. Be wary for traps. If you spy one, try to get an enemy to trigger it. Uh, thanks, Janessa. You do know that what we're doing here, right? You do know there's a dragon attacking? Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, isn't there usually a guy here? There he is. Get undercover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor... Kinder, let's save what us. What can I do here for he you, comes friend? again. Um, okay, so it's coming. And make every arrow come I'm gonna go into this tower and climb to the top and see if I can see the dragon from anywhere. Don't just stand there. Kill him. Oh, there it is. Interesting. That's not the same dragon I saw at Helgen. Unless he can change the color of his scales and the shape of his body. Let's get my Atronach summoned up here. So as it flies by, she might be able to hit it. It looks like it's down on the ground right now, though. Oh, there it is. Crap. Okay. Um, excellent. I'm going to go down here. You stay up there and take care of that dragon problem for me. Um, let's get Flame Shell going now. Uh, I don't have enough. Uh, probably because I haven't taken any alteration training yet, have I? Alright, let's do Firebolt instead. Takes a decent amount, but... Yeah, it's fine. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. It's saying stuff. It's like trying to talk. Man, I don't have enough magicka for anything right now, do I? Jeez. Let's see if I can get him when he's stopped again. Um, he's attacking me. Guys, he's attacking me. Got a mage on her side over here. He's 
he he seems to really want to attack me. I do not like that very much. Um, don't don't know why he's focusing on me. Let's get our bow out. Um, don't know where the heck he is. He's up there. All right. Yep, missed. Great. This is such a good fight for them to insist that I take part in. I'm so useful here. I might be able to lead him over to the nearby giant camp. Might be a viable strategy. Alright, um, let's get... Fandol, what the heck are you doing, buddy? Are you, are you afraid of the dragon? Let's see if we can get another... Flame Atronach going. Not getting anywhere near that thing. They they can they can take him on from up close. I'm gonna get my bow out. And I'm just gonna shoot arrows at him endlessly. Oh crap. Um okay. He's not doing a ton of damage to me. I mean, this is the starter dragon, so that kind of makes sense. Wow, I can actually understand some of that. Look at that. What's happening? Everybody, get back. What? What's going on? Um. Yeah. Okay. What? What's happening? What the hell just happened? Can I help you? Fang dog! Oh, God, it. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna unrelenting force you off of the mountain someday. Someday it's gonna happen. Um. I can't believe it. You're Dragon Ball. <laughs> no, I'm not. What exactly does that mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Okay. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I really don't know what happened. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. I'm right behind you. Okay. What are you talking about? So, for some reason, as he stands here, completely flabbergasted by what's going on, Johan gets the strange sense that maybe that word that filled his head after he saw that strange glowing wall might have something to do with this. My grandfather used to he feels inspired got your back. to speak it. Old Tiber Septim himself. What can I do for you, friend? Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. I'm right behind you. Thando, I know you're right behind me. Go away. Okay, so I think I just shouted. Who could kill dragons and steal the power? You must be one. What do you say, Yrila? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yrila. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. See? Here's Irileth's usually right. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. Wait, is she talking about me? You wouldn't understand how You did you, you did most of the work, me. sweetie. All across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting. What you just so did. So crazy. Must be. You really are dragonborn. They're not gonna let this stay dead, are they? This idea that I could be a dragonborn. All right. Well, this thing had a lot of crap in it that it's still got somewhere. So let's grab all of it and um, <laughs> white run guard stuff, which. Because, I mean, he did eat a guard, so. Um, hey, Fandal? 
Hey, no, come here, buddy. Come here. What can I get for you? Um, I need you to carry some very heavy bones for service. me. I know you are. It's literally the only reason I keep you around. All right, that got my carry weight down a Let little me know bit. If there's anything else you need. Let's head back into town. This has been too weird for me. Aerleth is talking about having somebody who can kill dragons, and I'm pretty sure she's talking about me. Are you wearing the gauntlets I gave you? I'm taking those back later. You realize that, right? All right. Um, I'm pretty sure she's talking about me, so I'm gonna get out of town before she can script me. Uh, I'm assuming that I can. Tundra Cotton. Uh, Skyrim has been so much more eventful than I expected it to be since coming here. Jeez. I expected just to be able to head north, camp under the stars, maybe raid some random ruins. Same way that, you know, you might do back in Cyrodiil. But everything has been so complicated since getting here. Just one thing after another. Very interesting. The Greybeard should have said something right about there. Great. So that's bugged. Wonderful. How's it going? Need a ride? Hey, there they go. It's not the first time this happened to me, though. So. There we go, Dovahkiin. Excellent. Trying to cast Dragon Aspect up there and just being really loud about it. <sighs> I do like this quest line. I know it's not as good as, say, like Morrowinds. I think it's. I do think it's better than Oblivion's, though. I mean, I like Oblivion a lot, and getting to go to Oblivion was pretty cool. But I do think that this quest line is more fun than Oblivion's main quest line. I'm sorry, I just do. Ah, white run, sweet white run. I'm still here. And the guards are just cool with letting me in and out. Hey, Janass is back. I was wondering where you were. I like her. One of my favorites. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. Those men are dressed like the Alakir. Johan has a lot of respect for the Alakir. He's heard a lot of stories about them. Back. This is not over. Hello. Hey there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. Um, that really depends. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard like us. I, I like how he says that. not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Um, I like how you said that she's a foreigner, as if, as a Nord, I'd care about that and be more apt to um, go against her because of it. Why exactly are you looking for her, if you're able to tell me? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that right. doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. He seems so offended by that. I just want to make sure I'm not going to hurt somebody. All right, I'll keep an eye out. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Yeah, yeah. Fandol, that you were unnecessarily close to me there, buddy. Don't don't do that again, please. Such a weirdo. Yeah, here's some blue mountain flowers I missed last time I was coming through here. Seems impossible. I've been searching for them everywhere. Doesn't mean I can't earn my own keep. I didn't mean. I'm sorry I asked. Are they talking to each other from all the way across the market? Okay, sure. I can buy that. What do you sell, by the way? I never really looked. I don't think I've ever actually bought anything from here. Is it just jewelry and stuff? Don't get too far ahead. Yeah, it looks like it. Like some weapons. I'm gonna stop in Bellathor's now. Now that I have a second. 
Welcome to Bellator's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Why did you guys come in the back? Did you think we were casing the place or something? <sighs> Weirdos. All right, Everything's Bellator. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. That's why I hate you, Bellator. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. I'm not sure I entirely... I'm entirely convinced that it is. How's business, by the way? Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on... On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well... Elevated prices. Such a scoundrel. All that matters is that I have what you need. And it's worth every septum. Yeah, yeah. What brings a Breton to Skyrim, by the way? Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Yeah, you're not much better than them. Don't pretend like you are. Fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. <laughs> ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. All right, point taken. That was a little rude. I apologize. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's sell off anything that I don't think I'll need right now. Like these armors. These armors. Um, I'm never going to use the shield. I don't even know why I freaking have the shield. I'm never going to use it. You can have the shield. Speech went up. Excellent. Speech is leveling very, very quickly. Um... I do want to disenchant that. And, uh, what kind of weapons did I have? I don't need the longbow. I don't technically need the dagger, but I'm going to keep it for now. I have a garnet I can sell. There's another garnet I can sell. This skill book. Seems to be pretty much it. I might as well check to see what he has on him while I'm here. Orcish arrows, which would be really nice to have, but they're expensive. Um, what do you have in the way of apparel? Amulet of Mara. Uh, Illusion Circlet. That'd be cool. I mean, just to have. I like that a lot. The stuff I just sold him. Hmm. Some robes. What's that? Noble, Noble Trim Wolfskin Hood Black. Interesting. Necklace of Resist Fire. Oh, I would love to have that. Put some Resist Fire on some stuff. Oh, jeez. That would be... That would be, that'd be worth spending the money on. But I just do not have the funds for this right now. I have a couple more things that I gave to do come back. my people. Fandog, come here. What can I do for you, friend? I can sell the bones and the scales. I'll get plenty more later. I'm probably going to do that. And then... Fire resistance is better than smithing. I can get more smithing stuff later, so I'll take those. And sell those to Bellator as well. That should get me you enough. Just... I know what you're thinking. This Bellator, how could he part with such magnificent treasure? Wasn't thinking anything even in the ballpark of Trinkets, that, buddy. odds and ends, that sort of thing. Yep, great. All right, that was all of his gold, and I'm only up to 1261. Um, how much did that cost? 1276. Perfect. Wonderful, spectacular, great, excellent. Remember, I'll give you the best deals or die trying. Yeah, yeah. Um, where's Janassa? Janassa, you're not Janassa. You're yeah, Sadia. Everything's for sale, my friend. Hmm, interesting. You visit no other shops today. Sadia actually looks kind of like the woman those red guards were talking about. Interesting. Where's Janassa? Did she leave? I'm all ears. Where, where did she go? Oh, she's literally right there. Do you have any money that I could borrow? We've stopped. What is it? Um, I need to borrow what some do money. Need to take? Do you have any? No, you don't have any money. Okay. Let's go. Great. That's wonderful. Let's go. Get out of here. 
Go tell the Yarrow. I'm still here. Seriously, guys? Let's go tell the Yarrow what's going on. Uh, maybe he'll have another reward for me for helping out that I can... I, mean, I guess unless it's a monetary reward, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, uh, yeah. Crap, kid, man. I'm so hungry. Oh, Here. thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Ugh. Why are you begging, kid? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. No. Uh, I can't adopt you right now. I don't have a house. Until next time. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'm going to adopt her later, though. She's a sweet kid. She, it always makes me sad to hear her begging for money as I walk by. So one, once I'm once I'm made a Thane and I have um, Lydia to stay at home and take care of her, because every time I take Lydia anywhere in any of these games, she dies. And I, I like her enough that I don't want her to die. <laughs> um, and, and once I have a house, I'll adopt the kid. Alright. Yarrow Belgriff. Yarrowlith killed a dragon and then gave me credit so that you'd make me fight more of them for her. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh, the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Yeah, that seems the most natural. You, but there must be more to it than that. Um, it turns out I may be something called Dragonborn, but I'm not really sold on that yet. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Uh, that's just what the men called me. I do know a little bit of it from the old histories and stuff, but not a whole lot. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. Okay. What do they want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or a shout. The Greybeards are masters of the way of the voice. If you powerful really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. That would be the interesting. Beards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That I was did, the voice yeah. of the Greybeards. Summoning you to High Rothgar. Oh wow! This hasn't happened in centuries, at least, not since Tybersetim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Yeah, that's why. Um... What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this. So they're just going to talk about me like I'm not here. Okay. Nord nonsense. Why you puffed up, ignorant? These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Yeah, I'm just going to talk over these guys because they're annoying. Um, that's why Johan's not convinced that he's Dragonborn. Because Talos was the last Dragonborn to be called up to um, High Hrothgar. And he doesn't consider himself to be anywhere equal to Talos. It revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? Other human beings you with intelligence and will. Hrothgar immediately. <sighs> There's no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. Uh, I made the pilgrimage once. How many steps? High Hrothgar is a very How many steps? Place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. Did he say 7,000? Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great okay. service for me and my city, Dragonborn. And you're just going to call me Dragonborn now, great. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Great, thanks. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Great, perfect. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. 
Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Excellent. Assign me some we extra privilege. Perfect. Have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Did I make any money off of that? Yes, my lord. Um. Nope. Didn't make any money off of that. Great. What? What's the weapon I got? Um. Axe of White Run. That's completely useless. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? So angry, he can hardly stand Was he it. talking to his Father chair? Me a new dress days ago. Now, uh, this place is weird. I'm leaving. Okay. Hello. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Um, I'm a Thane now. What exactly does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Neat. And what exactly does a house Carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. I already have a thane doll for that, though. Until next time. Thanks. Um. Yeah, so. I'm just gonna leave. They want me to travel up the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. Johan's read about High Hrothgar and the Greybeards a little bit. He knows vaguely who they are. Can I help you? But you're my follower. Stop talking to me like that. But he doesn't really feel like it's appropriate for him to go up and have an audience with him. He's not important. His entire reason for coming to Skyrim is laughable in his opinion. He doesn't even know why he's doing it. He's not even important enough to be on this journey. And here people are trying to give him even more importance than he's assigned himself. It's just insane. Yeah, but he is getting hungry and tired. So what he is going to do is he's going to look around town. Yes. How long does it take you to get back there? Um, he's going to look around town, see if he can sell any more stuff anywhere. Um, maybe this stall will be able to buy some things from him and make enough money to buy that necklace. Please, let's speak privately. Are you serious? I can't buy anything from you because... Uh, Alright, I saw another building earlier. It looked like it could be... A, another inn, maybe? Um, what's her name? Hrolda, also. It was also mentioned that she might have work for people. I'll go talk to her first. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Excellent. Um, if it's Hulda. work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fire? Chopping up wood. Um, yeah, I can do that. Sure, why not? Need anything else? Just let me know. Uh, sure. Still here. I can chop wood, sure. What can I get for you? Fane up! Let's get I swear to God. Blue flower is excellent. Need more wheat. I wonder if that farm has regrown its wheat yet. Um, I think I saw a chopping block here? Yeah. I do not have an axe. Luckily there's a free axe right here. I'm carrying too much now, because of course I am. All right, I'm gonna chop some wood, and um, I'm gonna cut that out, obviously, and then um, go turn it in and make some money off of that. Go buy that necklace, and we'll round out the episode with that. All right, so that's a decent amount of stuff, and I know Fandal has some firewood in his inventory too, so I'm gonna, you know, just. I'm at your service. Casually steal that from him as I um, give him a couple of other heavy things so that I can walk again. 
So you can have the Axe of White run. Oh um, no, I did not want. To, God. Mm, just here, take it. He'll probably use it, which I don't actually want him to do. Alright. Um. That is not what I'm I clicked. But okay. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't. And you can have those back. Am I Let still over encumbered? Crap, I'm still over encumbered. Can I help you? Alright, this is gonna be a long and annoying walk. I wanna know why they keep why my followers keep talking to me as if they're not my followers. It's getting annoying. Is it amazing follower tweaks? Is it something else? I don't think I have anything else installed that affects followers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's it, it is starting to annoy me a little bit. Holda, I have some firewood for you. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? You know, you could probably just talk to Isolda about it instead of talking to me about it. Here, have some firewood. Honest gold for honest work. Excellent. How much did I get for that? A hundred septums. Excellent. Be careful and stay safe. Uh, thanks. Actually, I'm going to sit down and uh, have something to eat while I'm here. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I'm not planning on dying ever, but uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Let's have some potato soup and uh, water, I guess. Seems good. Can I just take this now? We're friends. Can I just can I have this? Thanks. Good to see you again. You're nice. I like you. All right, that's gonna be about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly enjoyed making. Are you guys like seeing each other now? That's kind of cool. Let's get going. Um, I can take a lot of stuff in here now. <clears throat> Neat. Excellent. Can I can I take this wine? I'm gonna take this wine, and I'm going to drink it immediately. Um, anyway. <laughs> If you guys did enjoy the video, please help me out, like, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. But either way, guys, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.